Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. My name is Dr. Iskandar Shah Muhammad Rashid. I'm one of the assistant professor in ISEF. I teach financial management, uh, corporate finance and also research methodology. Um, the objective of this particular video is just to give you an overview about the subject, what is expected from the students and what basically the students are going to learn at the end of the day. Uh, financial management is one of the five foundation courses that have been included in the new curriculum for MIFP. Um, the objective of the course is quite simple. It's just to give you an overview of a good understanding of what finance is all about. So the question that students have to ask is that what you're going to learn and basically why you're learning all this. And the answer for this is quite simple. Because if you look at the financial system, I mean, we have four major components. First one is basically the financial intermediaries or basically dominated or mainly dominated by the banks. The second one is basically capital market. The third one is firm and the last one is basically households. So these four big components uh, forms or structure or the consists of the main structure of the financial system. So what the cost going to do? If you take capital market, for example, capital market consists of two major components. The first one is a debt market, the other one is equity markets. So this course, finance, will give you a good understanding what is debt market and also what is equity markets. And then it will also teach you how to value debts and also value stocks. So what will happen is that you're going to use this particular knowledge that you have learned from this subject and then going to continue whenever you will do, for example, Islamic capital market and you're going to apply the same fundamental to value suku and also to value to value stocks. So in other words, it's, it's quite an important course to give you a good foundation and good understanding of what you might see in the later part of your of your studies. But the course is mainly about the behavior of the of the firms. For example, if you look at firms, what are the major things that they do? They basically invest, financing, so on and so forth. So financial management will give you a good understanding how firms behave. Because it's very important for you to understand how the firms behave because firms basically are the fundamental of the, the whole economic system. So when you have a good firms, behave well, you know, healthy, um, create jobs, so on and so forth. So it's very important to build a good financial system in our context to build a good Islamic financial system. And if you look at the third component, for example, is the household. So how individual behave, how household behave, how they save how they plan for retirement, so on and so forth. So these are basically some of the things that we're going to cover. And finally, banking. Um, we're not going to cover banking in detail in the course. In fact, might not be that much. But if you look at how it's important, the behavior of the firms and the behavior of the individual and also the behavior of capital market are inter interrelated to banking systems. So in a short, I can probably say that the course basically going to look at all these four components and give you a good understanding so that you can use this knowledge for the later courses. So if you look at the course outlines, you probably have, can see that the courses cover cost, uh, topics like time value of money, bond valuation, stock valuation, risk and return, capital budgeting, cost of capital, financial derivatives, uh, working capital management, mergers and acquisition, and so on and so forth. So in other words, it all gives you good understanding and basic understanding of what finance is all about and eventually you can use all this knowledge for the future courses. Probably uh, that's pretty much about the subject. So all the best for your studies and I'll see you inshallah in the future. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.